Hi everybody, welcome back to the next in my updated for 2024 Beginner's Guide to Modding Daisy PC Community Servers. And in this one I'm going to be talking about how you can create custom structures and buildings and objects in Daisy, such as this rather wonderful place that I've made, which is up at the northeast airfield, and um, what I use to make tutorials. Obviously, I, you know, I've got a YouTube channel, I make loads of tutorials, tutorials on how to play Daisy. So, this place has lots of the common equipment that I, you know, spawns in for me, and I can um, play around with stuff and tell people how things work and things like that. And to do this, we're going to be using the rather wonderful um, Daisy editor mod, but. Before we get started, I just want to remind everybody, as ever, that this is a series of videos. It's a course of videos, and in the link below in the description, you will find a link to the playlist that's got all the videos in, and also you'll find a link to the next video and the previous video. I'm trying to do them in a kind of a logical order, so that each video builds upon the last as uh, kind of as to build up your knowledge base to get you more familiar with what's happening to take you on your daisy pc community server modding journey also you'll find a link to the um, console version of this playlist as well also this video is a little bit of a cheat because i'm not going to be doing a massive tutorial on how to use daisy editor because i've already done that i'm just going to be pointing you, to you towards my another playlist that i've done so as a brief introduction the daisy editor mod which is free it's a steam workshop mod you know if you own daisy on pc you know you, you can you can run this and it's a local mod that you run um you run daisy locally using this and it gives you an ability to edit in 3d um, and add stuff on it's absolutely fantastic but where you'll want to go to learn about it is this playlist here which again and will be in the description below this video. Now this playlist takes you from the real basics of how it works and the different files and things like that through to quite a long video which is 44 minutes long. So I go through the entire process of spawning in a couple of buildings, or I, think, I think some tents, um, uploading them to a server but also adding the map group pause um, entries so that loot will spawn in these structures as part of the uh, the central loot economy of the uh, of the of the game because I think that whenever you want to build something for Daisy I think it really helps if a new player when they come across this build wouldn't know if it was really meant to be part of the game or not and go oh you know they wouldn't even th have a second thought it would just be this is just part of the game to just whet your appetite though you could have things like this castle which I made at Sinistock or there's this amazing hydroelectric dam that another person's made that's on the Steam Workshop that you can use as well. So there we go. So what you want to do is, <laughs> is click on the link to my Daisy Editor Mod playlist. And if you're a complete beginner to it, work your way through one by one. Again, they're in kind of a logical order. Each one builds up on the, the information on that. And then you'll end up at this long one, which for, well, there's a there's a simpler one, which is 26 minutes long. And then the 44 minute long, which you know it goes step by step in actually doing it. So there we go, Daisy Editor Mod, an absolutely amazing resource for everybody on uh, Daisy, whether that be whether you're on console or PC, because you can do so many amazing things with it. Anyway, check out that playlist. If you found this video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Of course, I'll see you again soon.